Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out my channel. Today I want to talk to you about a mower and it is a Intec engine. It's on a Craftsman DLT 3000. This is about a 2003 model. There's a problem with the head gasket on this one and I want to tell you more the symptoms than how to replace it because there's some really good videos already on YouTube that shows you how to replace the head gasket, but I want you to be able to know what to look for to know if that's your problem. First, let me tell you the symptoms. Uh, this guy really takes care of his equipment. It's always garaged. The oil's always changed. And I've done some work on this engine in the past. In this case, it was an all of a sudden thing. He had oil burning going on. He said that it was smoking. The power was still there, but the smoke made him think that it was oiled by the way it smelt and whenever he checked after mowing for about an hour he used anywhere from four to eight ounces I asked him as far as is this all of a sudden he said yes it just started doing it if the rings are war or if the valve seals are war normally that is a slow type thing where you slowly find yourself over years putting in more oil this wasn't the case. He didn't use hardly any oil at all and then all of a sudden one day he started using oil and it was burning oil. It could be that uh, it's leaking oil somewhere but in this case he was burning oil. It was actually in the muffler burning. The only way it gets in the muffler is through the exhaust. So I'm going to show you what the most common problem is on these engines. Now these are those overhead valve Intec engines. In this case it says it's an 18 and a half horse. I don't know if that's true horsepower. They started lying about that stuff some years ago and they actually got caught on it. But it's basically uh, this head that says overhead valve on it. And then of course uh, here's the valve cover and that says overhead valve on it. If you have that type of a setup on your mower and that's the engine that you've got, this is going to pretty much pertain to it. If you check whenever you take this off, again, there's good videos already online showing you how to do this, and it's not hard to do at all. Even if you've never done it before, you can expect to take a half an hour to take it off for the first time. Whenever you pull your head gasket out, you can see here's the breech in the gasket. It allows the compression in the cylinder to sneak over into this galley area that goes directly into the crankcase. There's the galley area. And that goes into the crankcase, and what happens is this pressure just sneaks over and pressurizes the entire oil crankcase area. And that causes blow-by through the rings. So whenever the piston's going up and down, there's pressure on the back side of the engine pushing into the cylinder. And instead of having a nice vacuum in this area, the pressure that is being exerted into the cylinder is making its way into the exhaust. To sum it up, if your engine's not leaking and you've got oil and smoke being generated when the engine's running and it just started out of the blue, look at your head gasket. It's easy to change. They're less than $10. I'm going to put the link down below for the head gasket if you want to pick it up. You can get it shipped and delivered to you relatively cheap. And again, it's real easy to do. Those are the symptoms to look for. If you're wanting to know how to change the head gasket, just search YouTube, it'll show you. There's some really good videos again that'll tell you step by step and uh, you'll feel pretty confident in doing it yourself. I appreciate you watching. Thanks, click like or subscribe and I'll try to get more on just like this. Bye.